Hello pilots and ground crew, welcome back to my channel again. Uh, got uh, FPV antennas again. Now it was only uh, a few days ago, or a week or two, whenever it was, <laughs> when I uh, showed you the Relic antennas. The Oh, hang on. Uh, that's ours antenna. Right, which I did uh, an in-car test and they worked great. I was very happy with them. Well, I've been looking for a while now at the FPV antennas, the new little stubby ones from Illuminia, right? You can get them from getfpv.com, right, in the States. And the look, the specs look pretty damn good. However, they're about $20, £18, £19 for one. And I just can't really afford to be paying out that sort of money for one antenna. So, anyway, banggood.com. A lot of people don't like it because they do copies, right, or clones, if you will. But the thing is, if the product is open source, you're allowed to copy it. it, it, it it's like chips. You can't put a pattern on chips, and there's loads of different companies making chips. You decide which chips you prefer. But yeah, getting back to it, now we've talked about food, I'm hungry. Yeah, Relic, uh, same company that made the other antennas, have made a small stubby one. And when I say small, we are talking small. It's just the end and it has the uh, SMA male connector inside that you just screw onto uh, your VTX. It's 5.8 gig, the same as, uh, well, same as, well I won't see all of them because you can get different, but same as the standard. So let's uh, go to the bench, have a look, and I'll give you a bit more information and compare it in size to some of the others. Okay, cheers. Right then, to get an idea of the size going from uh, right to left, you've got your, well, your fat shark antenna, what you'll be used to seeing. Then you've got your menace Pagoda, your standard size antenna, your menace Pagoda, your little stubby, that new one from Relic, which is a, roughly the same size as the menace Pagoda, but as I said with this, you can use mix and match. You could have that on one thing and clover leaf on the other, and uh, or Pagoda on the other. You can mix and match the antennas with this type. And then we've got the new one by Relic, the uh, small little stubby end which simply screws straight onto your VTX. So I'll just move them to one side and we'll try and take a closer look at this. Not that there's a lot to see. Oops, get it in angle. As I said, it's your uh, 5.8. I got it with the SMA male connector because uh, my antennas for me VTXs are uh, female and there's not a lot I can really say at this point right if it's half as good as that one that I've already done a review about I'll be very happy because when this is on a quad you're not going to get it damaged. I mean, I have smashed and lost hundreds, of, well, a lot of these things. And as you know, with a Pagoda, sometimes the bend and the connector snaps off at the end. And uh, that's why this has got a piece of heat shrink around. The connector snapped off twice. I've had to solder a new one on. I put some heat shrink on just to hold it in place. But there's no actual connector in this. It's all in one. So if you... <laughs> Imagine that flipping over, there's no way it's going to actually come off or damage. I'm going to do a little test flight, well, by the time this video has gone out, and I've done the test flight, I'll show you it uh, at the end of the video, which will be coming up any second, and I'll tell you my thoughts on how it uh, responded. Okay then, uh, thanks for watching. I'll leave links in the description where to get it from, but as I said, banggood.com, less than five pounds. So thanks for watching and cheers. Right then, pilots, uh, quick test flight then. Well, we got uh, 20 mile an hour winds, and it keeps raining every now and again, and it's minus two. 
so I won't be outside long. There's the antenna, I put it on my uh, LSX. So let's get her into the air and uh, test it out. I'm going to use the. Uh, uh, can't get my words out here. Uh, going to use the DVR footage, but we all know that's not as great as what you actually see in the goggles, so I might do a bit of a sound uh, overlay as well. Okay then, cheers, bye! <laughs> Well pilots, uh, in my opinion, these little stubby mini antennas are the way to go now. I got a great bloody image, no problems at all. And as I said at the beginning, they're very strong and they're so small. I mean, they're, they're great, I am so impressed. I mean, uh, I don't want to wear bad mouth any other companies that make really good antennas we all know who they are but uh, this is the way to go these are really good and at the price about five quid i mean yeah i know they're, they're a copy of the luminea ones right but they're an open source copy so they're not breaking any rules or any laws or out like that and they are really the way to go they are amazing i was so bloody impressed Right, for flying to the other end of the field and stuff and it's quite a distance I know it's hard to judge when you're watching the video but uh, yeah these antennas are for me they're going on all my models from now on all right and obviously I don't know how they'll last up if you're crashing into concrete and stuff but let's be honest most antennas when you're crashing into concrete the brake or whatever all right but these things are super strong i mean i had a little crash it rolled over i don't know if you'll see it in the video knowing me i'll probably edit it out or leave it in but uh yeah like a normal antenna where the actual uh, sma or female sma whatever the connector goes into your quad the coax that's the bit that can get snapped whereas the ink one on these antennas it's fully protected and i got a great bloody signal I just hope it shows up in the DVR. We'll soon find out. Okay then pilots and ground crew, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave comments. And uh, cheers!